Hello everybody, welcome back to Amazing RC Store and today we're going to be showing you how to mount a body with magnetic mounts. What you're going to need is some magnetic mounts. Uh, we got the part number PUDR01002B, so come in if you want those. Using these, you'll need some strong tape to mount the body on to the posts, some scissors, side cutters, and a 2.5 mil 2 millimeter uh, hex wrench. Uh, so first thing, you're going to want to put your body on and see where it's fitting. So I think I'm going to have to cut the body posts. I'm just going to tighten my screws up. Some insurance. A few moments later. Hey guys, um, so we finished the body as you can see, but we made some minor adjustments. Let me tell you about them. So on the front, we just cut down the posts like I tell you, told you until it fits the size. Now in the back, as you see, the, there used to be body posts. We screwed the magnet on there with this M3 screw, and we put some nuts there to hold it in place. Um, it fits the body perfectly now. It was a bit too up, and now we uh fix it up and it's sitting right. Looks really good, Anastasia. So, Thank you. so uh, you are a master at putting these shells on now because we've yeah. done so many and they look perfect. Um, now, one thing I'd like to say, guys, for anyone watching, the reason why we had to modify the stealth mounts on this particular body was because it's so low. This is our BRZ, a Tamiya licensed uh, Subaru BRZ and the body sits really, really, really low. Yeah. So we had we had no other choice but to put the magnets that low on. Um, if not, it's gonna actually be sitting too high and we don't want it's that, be right? like a truck, right? Right, we That's don't. A sports car. Exactly, so we want it to sit nice, low, we want it to tuck, this is a drifting car. You know, so we wanted to make uh, make it look really nice. But yeah, that that's pretty much how you do it, guys. You just pretty much uh, very simple, straightforward, minor tools. Um, this is what it looks like if you use like some strong tape when you hold the magnets in place. You know, this is two-way tape which you can put on the inside, but we just put it on the outside because what that does is it also protects the magnets. So you could just pretty much throw it on there. Um, you know, Nothing and it's cracks. nothing's gonna crack, nothing is gonna break. Uh, magnets are, are strong and protected. So yeah, hey, hey good, great job, Anastasia. Thank you very much. Good job. All right, thank you guys. You like this, Nick? Oh, this is awesome. Custom painted. Really? Good yeah. job. James, did you paint this? Yes, he did. You know what the original ground pounder looked like, right? Yeah, this it's is just like this. <laughs> you know, I honestly thought this was the stock. Um, no, it's like not. it was the only. The well, other that's one. the thing. I, I like the. I like the. I like the ground pounder. Like, there's the real ground pounder too, right? Yeah, that was the Monster Jam truck, Correct. right? Yeah, right, they right. had the licensing for it. But uh, yeah, and uh, I said, you know what? It, 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 but it looked weird compared to the other, like the LMTs, right? The SEX10. Yeah. So, yeah, it was such a small uh, body. And then on, especially right? when I, as soon as I put the, the tires on, it, it, it shrunk the body. Right. Yeah. It did, but, eh? But that's the thing. This is like uh, the chassis is just... Yeah, so this is actually the ground pounder. You, you got the ground pounder from us a while back, that's remember? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. that's what I do remember that. Okay, so you actually got the... the okay, so this, this is, is this the is a ground pounder. Pretty I mean, much, yeah. Yeah. Here, yeah. Yeah, and then this body is actually a Proline body, right? Yeah. This is the Ford, Ford correct. Raptor. Is this yeah. the Ford this Raptor? Yeah, for the... Uh... 3.3 yeah correct. so it fits a 3.3 Revo yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah okay correct. so it fits perfect on the ground pounder setup right I love the, the fact that this is all metal it's all aluminum chassis here like it's a, it's a well built vehicle I think for what it is um, and and the then yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and absolutely it does it has the dual steering here as you guys can see it's a dual correct. steering correct that's that's a really good uh, 
Yeah. Um, so, James, tell us a little bit. Uh, uh, by the way, guys, we're here with James from uh, Toronto Leisure RC, and he does all the custom painting um, for us and, you know, for customers as well. So you can reach him at Toronto Leisure. Uh, at Toronto Leisure on Instagram, um, but he's going to talk to us a little bit about uh, what he did here uh, with uh, Andrew. Andrew, yeah, this is correct, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> can I just uh, just so first off, I'd like to say this obviously looks incredible. Um, you did all this airbrushed. Uh, well, hand paint and airbrush. Uh, and rattle can. Okay. A bit of three. Okay, so you did. What did you do first? Blue. Uh, yeah. I started off at the top, the blue, and then worked my way down. Worked your way down, and. Yep. Yeah, this just looks so great because it's all hand painted. Like this is. Uh, I wish we had, I should, I should have bought the original body. And, and the, it, the comparison is like uncanny. It's like really, really close. Uh, no, I, I remember the real, the original, and it looks exactly like it. That's why when I first saw it from a distance, I'm like, oh, it's the original body. And then I realized I got closer. I'm like, we gotta film this because this is pretty awesome here. Uh, Okay, so there's the actual ground pounder. This is how it's put together, as you guys can see, all metal. He actually added some aluminum aftermarket parts here. Where did you get these parts, by the way, if anyone's Freestyle watching? Freestyle RC. Freestyle RC yeah. makes these guys, and as you Correct. can see I think here. They do have uh, stock. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's got a CNC uh, machine. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a CNC machined aluminum upgrade here for the ground pounder made by Red Cat Racing. And here's the body itself. So the body was all airbrushed, uh, hand done, just like the original. Um, what did you put here at the front? This looks like um, a rubberized, rubberized um, like a bed liner. Bed thing. liner? Okay, so that you can buy that like in a can and yeah. then you can spray that on. Yeah. All right, very nice. Super. Motor Lotex body. Some stickers. I won't pay the guys. There's no stickers. Well, Did you we... paint this one as well? Correct. Okay, yeah. so here's another paint. Uh... So it's the original sticker sheet that came with it. I just reproduced it in paint. So instead of having these as stickers on the right. sides it and just... all that, it's painted oh, yeah. on. Oh, instead of stickers, so it's actually painted. Yeah. yeah. So I used the exact stickers and replicated it into a paint. That is wow. fantastic. That's that is awesome. so amazing. You always do such an amazing job. Um, guys, here's his information. If you guys are wondering or you're in the area, <laughs> you're local. Um, and I also want to show uh, the people here what were the other one that you just you just finished. The Firebird. Here's a custom painted Firebird in purple which we're going to be mounting on a drifting chassis so you can actually purchase this car in store it will be on our website uh shortly um and then this is another custom painted one this is like a subaru a yeah. subaru brz this is subaru brz right over here looks really cool i really like the yellow on the something different you know yellow on the windshield and that says subi gang subi gang <laughs> And uh, one more thing I'd like to show you guys is we have over here. So here is uh, some of the custom painted um, vehicles that we actually put on chassis, drifting chassis and racing chassis. So you guys can come into the store and take a look. If you do like these vehicles here, you can actually purchase them in store, uh, ready to run with these custom shells on. They look incredible. They look much better in person. All right, y'all. Here's James and Andrew. Thanks for stopping Thanks for by, guys. That. Thanks for watching. Cool. Thanks for watching, y'all. Stay tuned to the next one. How about you, Anastasia? You want to say something? Bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. I look forward to your meeting. <laughs>